But we'll see how we get on. Stop five. Hey, Jamesy, how's it going? Didn't mean to click that. <laughs> what I am going to do though, I think I'm going to move this cushion. As gracefully as I can. There we go. I think I've got like th three different setups for this so for now I've got like using the laptop setup, playing games and streaming setup, and then other. But, like three cushions for when I want to use the laptop to give me like proper support. But it was not comfortable just then. It kind of raises me up too high so my legs hurt. Anyway, let's uh, not start the stream with a big sofa waffle. How are you? How's your... What day is it? Sunday. How's your Sunday? Did you put the clocks back? Am I going to get really pissy at viewpoint tonight? Possibly. I have a little bit of a headache, so this might not have been a good idea. <laughs> ah, press the bomb. One, two, three, go. I'd really like to finish this game though. Like I'm, I'm very at peace with this game now. I'm I'm ready to move on. Two clocks have changed still. See, we don't do that here. Right. One, two, three, go. Whoopsie. I've done nothing today. I mean, it's sort of been a very chilled day. I'm just burnt. I'm so burnt out this weekend. I'm absolutely exhausted. I don't even want to have to face... Whoops. Monday, tomorrow. I'm off work, but just the, the, the feeling of like, oh, I have to go to bed tomorrow is already starting to get me down a little bit. My DST ends next week. Oh, Daylight Savings Towers. That was a DST. Lo looking forward to the time change messes me up every time. So that's something that I don't miss having to do. Because we don't change the clocks here. But it is annoying. I can't remember which one I prefer. I think I prefer when you're all on summertime because people get up earlier and, and come and hang out with me. My, my weekday streams will be a little bit more lonely now unless you're early birds. I feel like people don't really trickle in until the very end when it's on winter time. It's a double-edged sword though because when it's on winter time I find myself like I can enjoy other people's streams more because they're on later. There's no need of it anymore. Yeah, it, it's sort of, it is and it isn't. And I have two thoughts on the matter like, there's no main reason to have it but I would say that um, the only point of view is growing up I can't remember where you said you're from now but growing up in the UK um, it's dark in the morning and I think just for the benefit of kids going to school if nothing else but they could always just leave it on that time but then again I guess summer would be pretty bad until we get like three hours of sunlight well like that sounds like it's really not got much point the only thing in the uk is like the difference between seven and eight in a winter is like night and day and it's like do you want all the school kids like having to walk to school in the dark 
or in the sun. Well, as the sun's coming up. And same with school ending, too. But other than that, there's not really much point to it. I used to like those cosy winter more. I miss that about being in Japan because Japan doesn't really vary much. It's just sort of give or take an hour for sunset. Like in the summer, the sun will go down about 6.30 at, the, at peak summer. But in the winter, it will go down at like 4.30. So there's not really much between it. And it will rise at 5 or rise at anywhere between like 5 and 8. No, not even eight. I'd say like seven. Five and seven. Maybe. It's probably rising about seven, seven thirty at the moment. And it's going down about five o'clock. Whoa, I forgot that you do that. A rougher here with a great white north, yeah. Probably varies depending on where you are in Japan as well, I guess. Japan goes all over. It's a schmuck, but diagonal. Yes. <laughs> Such innovation. How are you, Quiggy? It's sort of innovation, but it's also chug a -lugging. You know what though, I never figured out about the bomb. Does anybody know? Slash Google. What was it? Let me find it. I've still got the manual. There's some sort of secret bomb. Oh, I can't be bothered to find it. Because maybe I could use that. I never thought to even look. Let me just tw swap over a moment. Check I didn't make this up. Bombing, fire bomb, shot bomb. Watch out for the special three in one bomb. Pick up this item. And you can get a fire bomb, homing bomb, and shot bomb all at once. But there is a secret to getting this weapon. Will you be wise enough to figure it out? I don't know what that means. Actually, maybe it just means it refills your bombs rather than you get a three in one. If anybody knows, do say so. Secret bomb. This game has got rank, hasn't it? I remember now. Having shields and options makes the game harder. Especially the bloody bosses. Why don't you want to come to Japan, Quiggy? Uh, I was about to call you Twiggy then. Why don't you want to come to Japan, Quiggy? It won't buy. I might get Omega last. You'd be surprised how much English is here. Especially if you're in like the main cities. There's English everywhere, you'd be fine. Like, I mean, even these, it gets more and more. Like, even these days, um, you can go to the convenience store and like all the convenience food that's, that's, that's not, that's like um, made by the convenience store, like 7-Eleven, for example. All their stuff has English on it now. There's no more mysteries. Like, what's this sandwich? It, it just says in English. Oh. Oh, this fucking fish. Do my head in. This ain't even hard, I'm just impatient. I'll like, just get out of the way. Doo, doo, doo. 
Everyone's kind of making me feel more at ease about the idea. Honestly, it's very, very tourist friendly, I think. As long as you go into like tourist places, you know, if you start like going off into the countryside, then yeah, the English will start to disappear, but um, you probably won't be. You'll be hitting up all those places and they're ready for you, you know. <clears throat> all and everything's all machines and stuff now, like, you know, the ATMs, you can press a button and it'll switch into English, just this load of stuff. Buying a train ticket. They'll have English menus. So, I mean, it's no different from going to... Well, it is a little bit, but it wouldn't be that different from going to France. The English is not as, not as good, though. It depends where you are. Like, if you're in the supermarket, the person in the supermarket might not speak English, but it probably doesn't really matter, because they're really just kind of point at the screen and say, give me that, you know? <laughs> These days, you don't even have to interact with everybody, because it's all fucking self-checkouts and stuff. You can press a button and it'll be in English anyway. Oh, I'm getting cold feet. It's that time of year. That's the one thing. I quite like winter. Like, I like being cosy and stuff. Oh, my God. But the one thing that I don't like is cold floors and cold feet. I have crap circulation. Probably from being an ex-smoker. thing with me... Probably everybody, I don't know, but like once your feet go cold, it's just sort of game over, innit? You need to have like a... I need to have like a hot bath or something to sort it out. The thing I hate about it too is like, you can't even like put more socks on, it just doesn't help. <sighs> I don't even know the letters, never mind the words. I don't seriously have a clue about what the words are. Yeah, but there's English, there's loads of English though. Loads of English. Like on food and stuff, like what do you want to read? I mean, I wouldn't recommend living here if you don't speak any Japanese. Like, I mean, and people do. <laughs> people, like, I know people that can't read Japanese and have lived... I knew, like, a, one or two people that had lived here for, like, ten bloody years and can't read anything. I mean, they obviously just... They got married and had a wife that did everything for them, but... Some people just don't bother. It, I actually find that to be an amazing achievement in itself to like live here that long and actually actively not learn anything like wow how did you do it but people just live in their foreigner friend bubbles and just go to the english pubs and don't do anything else live in a bubble so and it's you know and sometimes that happens even to me because you know if your job is using english and then your friends speak English, and then you go and hang around in the English pub, then that's it, isn't it? I don't hang around in English pubs, though. I find them annoying. A little bit. I used to when I was younger. I don't really go out much <laughs> these days, to be honest. But, I mean, even I don't really speak that much. I have a couple of friends, but I don't see them as much as I used to. Japanese friends, anyway. Am I about to die? What do you want to read? Well, that's the thing, though. What do you want to read? The newspaper, or what's in that sandwich? And um, what's in that sandwich will be written on it in English. <laughs> Mostly. Not every single thing, but enough. Oh, I saw you, by the way. Well, you, you, you must have finished by the time. I'd have, um, maybe I just raided Abby Jams and went on autopilot, but I saw you, Phantasmagoria. I saw you. I went on a little be right back yesterday while I was making my coffee. I was having, I was having a nose at who's, who's online and who's doing what. I saw that little Phantasmagoria stream happening. In fact, I bet I can catch you. Is it still there? Deadly Knight? Liar. Got 
lost very many times. You need to find Don, find Don and give him what he wants. You didn't see me do Phantasmagoria, did you? I think, didn't you follow me like, I think Gabriel Knight 2, which was like, I think I did that net like, I did that after. Like you missed Phantasmagoria by one game. What a shame. It's a bit I got stuck, yeah, I got stuck there too for ages. That's why it's sort of a bit of, a bit of a joke on my channel with the people that were here at the time. Because I got stuck on that for probably about an hour and a half, and every time I get clicking on that skull, it just kept going, fine, done. <laughs> done, and give him what he wants. I think I did a stream with that in the end. Stupid. But it, that, the, it was a funny joke, but it aged really, really, really badly, because then Don kind of took what he wanted in the next stream when I went live, and the game took a really dark turn. Don't know if you got that far, actually, so I guess I shouldn't say more. Although, maybe a disclaimer, it is a bit delicate if you're streaming it live. Every Night 2 is my first Moon FMV stream, and your last probably. I don't think I've done it well. I did the seventh guest after that, maybe? Or before? <clears throat> Woo! I'd do one again, but laptops. Hey there! I need to play Phantasmator Phantasmatoria, Phantasmagoria too, sometime. Though it doesn't really look as good to me, like I liked the sort of janky CGI backgrounds and stuff of the, of the first one. I know what boys like. Yeah, Phantasmagoria was probably one of my favourite streams in the early days, that and Gabriel and I. It was a very good time, even though there was only about five or six of us here. It was also the first time I ever got a sort of um, big raid too, I remember that. It was like very early Twitch days and I got a nice raid off Hagen Hessian. And I remember thinking, Corb, lie me. Look at all these people in my stream. Try not to think about it and plod on. I think that's when I used to actually have the view count in like visibility. Now I don't even look. Oh, you bugger. I love a nose from on a break though, I have to say. Just a little peek. Ooh. I also just like to catch the box. Especially when I'm starting soon. Oh! Doodle doo. It's that time of year where everybody's streaming a halter, halter guy. You do that. Do what? Have a peek on your break or do you try and catch the bots? I get rid of them. Can't be doing with them. People are like, oh, well, they don't do anything. I'm like, yeah, but they also don't need to be here. It pisses me off. Get out my chat. Scraping fucking data. 
Try and catch the bots. Yeah, I do. Because, I mean, a lot of the time, I'll, I'll stream it as the, ta the game that I'm tagged. So, you know, if I'm tagging, like, wow, well, what did we play recently that it was, like, nobody cares about? I mean, even this, if I'm, ta I'm I'm going live with Viewpoint on the Mega Drive, yeah, and all of a sudden there's, like, two people in my chat list after, like, two minutes, I don't think I've found, like, the five people that fucking love Viewpoint, you know what I mean? And you click on them and it's just some, like, e-girl looking person who's got, they've always got, like, 713 follows or something and never streamed. Like, yeah, right. <laughs> My favourite though, there's uh, if you if you do the bots, then you'll know what I'm talking about. But I also catch them at, after I've raided too, because they usually don't go with the raid. But um, there's a ton of bots that have all been made on the same date, and this, I'm still constantly getting rid of them. They're all like March 13th, 2023, and they've all got silly names like Dave12375. J or something like that and they're all made on like March 13th 2023 just like get out I always google search as well though I, I'm, I'm, I try and be as cautious as I can and if, if I'm in doubt I don't I don't get rid of them if, I, if I'm doubting myself because you never know if it's just a lurker because there are people that don't ever want to speak and they just want to chill and enjoy uh, uh, and enjoy <laughs> enjoy me <laughs> Enjoy me being annoying and moaning. But some people, in, I don't know, some people enjoy that, I guess. But, um. But yeah, so if I'm in doubt, I won't do anything about it. But usually I'll Google it. And it, it, I mean, if they're bots, it usually immediately brings up several websites for like bot, bot list things. And I'll have a look. So. A bookmark that is an aggregate list of active bots. I check before tossing them. Yeah, there's there's a few websites that you can use. I always double check a few times. I don't delete in advance. I wait until they appear because I don't trust those lists to be totally accurate, like the ones that are actually just lists. Because you know, there's people like Dreaming Magenta Sheep, for example, lurks in low. She's probably here right now, but she's um, always lurking in people's chats and stuff because she's just trying to help people out but she says she's been banned a few times when people think it's just a bot need those viewpoint fans for the three in one secret bomb I do but google it can't be bothered to But yeah, I can tell, like, not to be too judgmental, but like a very sort of young, sexy e-girl that's like, I don't know, clearly a fake account. Like, I don't think they're actually what a viewpoint fan. And the other thing you can see is they're usually always um, hosting the same person. Like, there'll be three or four of them and they're all hosting, like, there's one that was it, like, Broken Chair or something, some... Twitch stream person. They all host the same person and it's all just like them streaming words on screen or something or just 24-7 lo-fi vibe shit. Like, just fuck off. Like I said, even if they're not doing anything specifically aggressively harmful, I still think it's dubious. I don't see why you need to be here. It's either shameless PR or they're scraping data. And I don't want to be scraped. And also, at the end of the day, it's my space. And, you know, the function of having a chat list to see who's here is my privilege to use, do you know what I mean? And it's annoying when it's just full of 30 fucking bots. Like, <laughs> and uh, it's confusing. But sometimes, just for, I might want to check, you know, if there's some sort of troll person, I want to check if they're still here. Or something, ooh. But then it's like, oh, I can't see the forest for the bots. 
I don't really look at the chat list though, but I do like to have a little gander at the end of a stream. Sort of curious who's lurking. Oops. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Do -do. Baby. Of this boss's ass. Oh, for fuck's sake, it's so hard to dodge bullets on this with a stupid perceptor. And the really janky controls. That booklet with the slowdown on the frame rate, it's pretty miserable. Oh, what is that bloody hitbox? Because it ain't working half the time. Hurry up, boys! I can't believe that pressing down on the D-pad does that. Ridiculous. Oh, do you know what? You've reminded me and I haven't done any of my housekeeping. This ain't game 144. This is game 145 because... I'm considering Gemfire done, <laughs> as I posted in the Discord. So this is, I needed to update that. I meant to do it at the start of the stream. And the count, 144. Gemfire's done, moving on. Did you find it on Gemfire? It sometimes didn't let you attack. Check that the, the space is actually connected. Well, I suppose you play it in English, so you can, it would tell you and you'd be able to read. But I noticed one place it wouldn't let me... Um, attack one place because it actually wasn't touching. I don't know what the message in English would be, but it was one near the very bottom. It looked like they were touching, but they weren't touching, so I couldn't actually attack. Oh, 
Oh, fuck off. Oh my god, where did those balls come from? Why are they off the screen? That is not fair. <laughs> Asshole. Oh my god. You think they've despawned and then they just come back off the side of the screen? Ba -ba 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 -da -ba. Go away. But yeah, I've asked I asked Doan about Gemfire and I had a look at the endings and it it seems I thought it was a chronological order like a story thing, but it seems like it's just like four different variations of the same game, like for replay value. You play as different characters and have different challenges and a different map layout and but the ending's the same, like it's still just you rescue the princess and get the gem fire and blah blah blah. So I thought we'll cover it, we'll move on. Don't feel like playing it all again. So I'm sort of regretful because probably could have been um, what's his face, the desert boy. Had I realised. Ah, oh, you asshole! The thing is, I hate this boss. And on stage five, we've got to do it again. I hate all the bosses. Oh, what the hell is their hitbox? Now I don't have the shield. I absolutely shot that in the face. It's so janky whether it works or not. The game seems quite generous with giving your lives back. Why don't I have a bomb? Really? His bullet patterns, like, they're just so fucking random. I don't even know if I should take the options, you know, because I think that plays a part in the rank. And I don't need the wide shot, I just need the middle shot. I might be better off missing it on purpose. I want the shield, that's it, really. I want that and I've missed it. I think I shall have to redo the level again. I'm trying to like fit through the eye of a needle sometimes with horrific controls that don't even go in the direction that you feel like you're pressing. Like, why, look, this is, this is viewpoint, that's up, that's down, okay then. <laughs> like, up is a straight line, but down is diagonally to the right. It's so whack. Right is right, left is left but slightly diagonal. Like, what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> I feel like it probably would have worked better in the arcade with like a, with a with a stick or something, but it doesn't work with a D-pad. To go diagonally to the bottom right-hand corner, you've really got to like press diagonally left and down to do it. it doesn't and, and my brain just it doesn't feel very intuitive. And it's alright for the most part, but when you're trying to dodge like really tiny gaps between 
sprays of bullets. Because you end up going slightly off to an angle and into one. So ill fitting. Yeah, this level's not a good one. Some of the music in this game has been pretty good though, I have to say. I think that's the best thing about it, is the, the boss music stuff. Paper! So did that answer your question, James? About not being able to attack? Hey Tin Sarah, how are you? Do the charge. Can those balls just fuck off? I don't know where to go. The level music would not be out of place in Soul Call Bam. <laughs> yeah, that level wouldn't. Slept it again, stayed up a bit late on the cartoon night. Frame rate is so bad on this game. I really can't excuse it anymore. Truly immortal dancing moves. How are you, Demi Urgy? Do I say that right, Demi Urgy? Demi Urgy, Demi Urgy. I like your little avatar, by the way. It reminds me a lot of Star Control. Was that the inspiration? It is the Maga. Oh, is it actually from Star Control? I've only played the first one on the Mega Drive and I don't... Ah, Star Control 2. Yeah, I don't think it was in the first one, but there was something similar in, in that one. It had like tentacles, but I think it was colourful, if I remember. Or maybe it was just the different graphics. Giving up on Gen 5 for now. Good game though. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Not to be underestimated. That one. Oh, Tinsera, did you see? I, I finished Gen 5 last night. 
I recommend it. And it's got quite good replay value because you could choose to do a different chapter where it's like it's basically the same game but just with different families and a different map, sort of like who owns what. So it's got extra challenges and things. Ernest Scared Stupid, one of my Halloween movies. Ernest. I think, no, I don't think I have. I don't think they're very popular in the UK. I think I might have seen... Is that like Ernest Goes Camping or something? But I mix it up with something else. What was that? There's a movie with... Um, I don't think it's Ernest. I think it's um, the guy from Back to the Future. Isn't he in a camping film? Like Camp something or other from the 90s. I mean, I could be wrong, because sometimes I say, like, oh, I don't think that was very popular in the UK, but actually it was, but I was just, like, five or something, so I don't really know what I'm talking about. And it was a short-lived popularity, but I don't remember the Ernest movies, really. I remember, that I think they've had, like, reruns on, like, Sky Movies a lot, but I wouldn't watch them. Like, well past, well past their prime, though. So... I'm t I tend to not really know so much about early 90s stuff to what was popular, unless I watched it on video and late 80s. Same with like things like National Lampoon. I know that my brother-in-law used to really like National Lampoon's Christmas, but never know if that was just him. have to watch that every Christmas. I wonder why... Uh, what? National Lampoon? I wonder why this game is struggling with the frame rate. My god, I this much so well. Bad programming, I'd say. And it's probably because it's doing weird isometric pseudo... It's got some weird 3D-ness kind of stuff going on. Like it's almost trying to do like a Star Fox, but not pulling it off at all. Um, really dumb movies. And it's goes to jet, and it's goes to camp and so forth. Is Ernest for kids primarily? Or like family movies? Yeah, frame rate's terrible on this. It's on the Mega Drive Mini 2 though. When I've beaten this, I'm gonna have a look at it because supposedly, I don't know if it's true though, but I've heard that the frame rate, they fixed the frame rate. M2 did. The sort of reason it's on the Mega Drive Mini 2 is because it didn't have a Japanese release, so it's sort of a point of interest for Japanese audiences. Otherwise, I would not really imagine why on earth it would be on there. on movies might just be me but it seems to play well on the mini too yeah i think they've improved it i haven't tried it out myself I'm very curious to Hits. Oh my god. 
Need to relearn the buttons. Oh, are you playing this one now? God. Those things have so much health. And they bloody heat seek. Oh, I missed the power ups. Whatever. Maybe it'll it'll help. I love a shield though. Fucking A. God. Oh, there's so much lag in this game, it's unreal. And you never know whether you're coming or going, because like, it slows down and then it just suddenly fucking speeds up and everything flies in your face. And, like, trying to go backwards is so abysmally slow. Very unfair that they shoot off screen as well. Like I said before, the thing that's really fucking disheartening is I'm struggling like hell to kill this boss and on the next stage I have to do them all again in a boss corner and every time I run out of lives I have to do them all again, you know. It's just, ugh. I hate people, not people, I hate games that do boss gauntlets. 
Especially when the boss gauntlets, the bosses have the exact same health that they had the first time around. It's like I'm struggling to kill you once, let alone again after doing the other three bosses as well back to back. Especially the third level boss, because he's a pain in the ass, you know? Just trying to kill you once, please. Stage 5 is awful, that's why I haven't finished this game yet, because stage 5 is so bloody hard. It's long. You have to do all these stupid level segments before each boss, and it's just it's a massive gauntlet. But I think there's only 6 levels in the game, so... I haven't seen level 6 yet. Thing is, like, I was thinking, you know, thinking, oh, I could just, like, you know, use a save state or something to practice off stream. I don't think any amount of practice is going to help me with this game because it's more just the controls are shine. I know what the bosses do, I know their attack patterns, and I know what I need to do. I just can't consistently evade these bullets with this ass isometric control scheme. It's not really about figuring anything out or practicing that, it's just a little bit jank. Woo! The walls are too much. I figured out to charge the gun, but there's a lack on the mini too. Because the, the, the retreat on this game is so slow. Going backwards is, is really slow, and it, so it's hard to dodge bullets. Oh my god! The options is shield. The shots from the side. And whoever thought putting this before the boss was a good idea can go in the bin because I'm so bored of this sequence. It's slow, it's annoying, I just want to get to the boss. Don't make it worse. Hurry up! Frame rate dies as well though, so it makes it even slower.
bastard! That final form! <sighs> Thing with different families, yeah. Now I didn't see there was much point carrying on. It would have very little variation, except the prologue. It would just be the same game and the same ending. Fucking miserable. I agree. Good. <laughs> or are you, are you on about this or are you about Gen 5? <laughs> we got Civ 6 done. Beat the AI characters once. Hey Retro, how are you? Do, 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 do. Oh, just fucking stop shooting. <laughs> Doing good. How am I gonna beat him another time on level five? Birds. Fucking deal with that part. Oh my god, I just can't. They go everywhere. Like, I'm trying to dodge the bullets, and those things move so fast, and my ship is so fucking slow. Wait, excuse me, give me my fucking option. <laughs> I need another bomb. I might have to just, like, not use it and try and see if I can get. Too off. Ooh. I'm not bad at shooters. I'm bad at this shooter though. I'm really, this shooter does my head in. Really gone off it. Just feels really frustrating to play. This, I mean, this is just ass. It's like playing a shooter through mud. I mean, frame rate's got what 30 now. Oh my god, why, why, why did that, why did that go fast? Is it because I wasn't charging my shot? It's just a very badly made game. It's, well, it's very badly optimized. It's a lousy port. That scrolls me up and down. Yeah, isometric doesn't work so well. See, look at this. Like, um, the frame rate's 
probably, what, 15 frames per second or something stupid. There's even a lag to pause the game here because it's going so badly. But if I stop shooting, it, it might speed up. I need to keep that charge. Oh, it's sped up now. But now we're back to horrible frame rate, and then Kaching, we're suddenly fast. Why don't I have two bombs? God. Fuck, now I've got to do the whole level again. See, the bombs are also a bit biased. The green bomb's kind of crap. Maybe it's more powerful, but I don't like it because what the red bomb does and the blue bomb, mostly the red bomb actually, is it wipes out bullets, which is very useful. I think that might be a 3-in-1 bomb. Oh my god, I want to keep the shield. Piss off. Hopefully with these bombs and do something but the crap bomb first. Oh, 
baby. Oh my god. Oh, you fucking bitch! How the fuck did that get through? Oh, I didn't even see that bird. Oh my god, I thought, oh yeah, shield, this is fine. God damn it. <laughs> I'll piss off. Sexy Disco be. Got to do without a shield. And it's best to like just stay where you are and dodge left to right rather than forwards and backwards because the reverse is so slow. But you've got to get somewhat close to him to get the shot in before he closes his mouth. Or have better timing. when I miss the bloody birds. Fuck off, bird. Get out of here, you stupid chump. <laughs> right, before we do stage five, I need to go and shove my head in the wall and get a coffee. I haven't now, I've still got a coffee. What I'm going to do is put this coffee in the microwave because it's cold and just go and just swear in the other room. I'll be back. <laughs>
Oh my god, I forgot this level like has anxiety inducing music. This is terrible music on this level. Oh, and they only shoot, I think, when you've got, like, options or something. They rank up. Oops. That was a great place on pause. Well, maybe it's a shield. Anyway. Did you all have a nice Halloween weekend? I sort of gave up on the spooky stuff. I kind of played them early, but never mind. Oh my god, the hitbox is so huge, but also a little bit of skew. Oh, I ended up having a look at that um, Techno Clash that got redeemed by Damien. Whoa, Damien. It's not the game I thought it was. I'm thinking of something else, and I can't remember what it's called, but maybe it's not going to be notoriously difficult. Actually, it looks quite fun. So, it's got a big manual though. It's made by... Um, Blue Sky or something, the people that did uh, Ariel the Little Mermaid, they did better things than that really, but that's what I know them for. These shooting is ass. Oh, wasn't ready for you. See, they only shoot one bullet when they de-rank. Oh, but it still hits me anyway. I can't think what the game that I was thinking of was, but I think it's EA published as well. But it didn't look very good. Give me that shield. Uh oh. One of these needs to bloody vanish. Of course it won't. Wait, we're already here? This is the crab boss of that. I thought the shield and the power up bit was later on. Are 
You get a lot of points for the body parts, which gives you extra lives. Yeah, they shoot. It's the shield that's ranking it up there, not the, well, not the options, I guess. Oh, which is garbage because I want to keep my shield. this far before. Tits. No, I've never seen this before. Ooh. I think level 5 has a boss of its own as well as all this boss gauntlet nonsense. Here we go again! It's ridiculous, like I've literally just beat him and I've got to struggle through it again. But if I get game over I have to do all those bosses again. And then there's one more boss after this and I don't even know what it does. Ah, oh, it would be a bit better if they had less health, but I don't think they do. Just do the bosses exactly as you just did before. But back to back. Oh my god, hit that fucking bird! I can see the bullet, it's like, I'm trying to keep an eye on everything and that bird just won't die. Oof.
Fucker. God damn it. I need bombs. Will that go away? No. Oof. Could use a shield. that bird. goes it badly. This game is punk. Oh!
viewpoint is a very clunky bad game. <laughs> Functional. Yeah, this is bad. The frame rate is terrible. And the controls are not very good either. And this level is a pain in the ass. It's a boss gauntlet. I've got to do all the horrible hard bosses again. Woo! Moonfire with the rain. Hello there. I'll give you a shout out. Oh, sorry, I'm. Um, Adrenaline is a is a going. Thank you so much for the raid, though. How are you? Speaking of pains in the ass, I wouldn't say that. Breath of the Wild. One day I will play Breath of the Wild. One day I will get a Switch. But welcome in Squid Pie Meow Face. I've seen your name around in certain places for sure. I to zero. Welcome in. Hello there. I'm trying to beat Mega Drive games. It's truly a breath of fresh air. Oh, I'm struggling with this game called Viewpoint. It's very, very mean. Thank you for the follow. How was your stream? Have you played it before? Like, finished it before? Just playing for fun or first time? Whoa! Leave me alone. This game is mean. I don't even... Can you just shoot so I can get in? Tits. Yeah, I've been on a bit of a roll lately, got through quite a few games. I'm just trying to clear this one off once and for all, because I'm sick of it. Ooh. That wasn't an enemy. Yes. I want that shield. Ooh, and I want that bomb. We've got another boss to do, and I've never seen it before, so this is going to be... Interesting to say the least. At least the bosses give you points to get lives back. It would see I'm fucking stuck, aren't I? Tit, get me out of there. I don't trust that. Whoa! Oh, the, 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 oh, they tried to get you around there, but I was in the wrong place. Quite, I was in the right place even. Quite a lot of fun. It's my first playthrough. I expect you and Squid Chat Angel and Wayward. Yeah, I think I've seen Squid's name in Angel Stream a lot. That would be the link. It's nice that oh, it's nice that people get around like that though. Oh my god, this is ass. Just stop being mean. Get me out of here. This is probably the this is the boss of the level, but I I don't know what to do. I don't know what it's gonna do. Ah! It's gonna clean up the streets by the look of it. Ooh. I'm assuming it's got a second form, because they all do. Baby! And it's probably going to ram up in my face in a moment, because the bosses really love to do that in this game. Oh! <gasps> Whoa! You don't need to do that. What? You for real? <laughs> Fine. Whatever. The struggle was getting there. Learning for a bit while making dinner. Thank you for the lurk. I believe this is the final level. But uh, I've never seen it. Ooh, it's a bit of a jam. We can enjoy Viewpoint again now. I'm over the hurdle. And I'm back into... Oh, I'm digging it. Oh, this is what the manual... What was it the manual claimed? Let me get the manual. 
I don't know why, but I want to see it again. Oh, where has it gone? Viewpoint. Something about things that we won't be able to believe are coming up. Watch out for dizziness and stuff like that. A dead end? No, stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four. That was the mighty Martuba. Watch out for his bubble bomb. So very enemy. Stage three and beyond. Here you will meet enemies beyond comprehension. If you know when to attack and when to save your firepower level, you may be lucky enough to get to this level six. Once there, however, you may not get a second chance, so be aware. Oh my god, if this does that stupid shit where you don't have continues on level six on the screen. Once against the game, we'll have to find those warp points. Can't be doing the shooters that do that shit sours me. What was one that did it that does it? Thundercross. I really like Thundercross but mm. I'm not doing save states though am I? Then it wouldn't count. This music's really good though. I do like it. Whoa! Maybe it doesn't, maybe it does. Thundercross does it, it's really irritating. You can like credit feed it all the way to the final level and then if you game over on the final level it just kicks you off. I don't see the point, I think it's stupid. It's, I mean, I guess it's a relic from arcade. This is a really good track. Very sad. Frame rate. I like this track. Really good. Oh my god, they were really holding out for the final level. It's really sad. Get in. Just you can all do like do your thing. As long as they don't change. Ooh. But what are those X's? Bollocks. I was we're waiting for the X's to do something like fly up and kill me. Or maybe there's no checkpoints on this level is what it meant. I prefer that. If you can't handle the frame rate, stop putting so many enemies on screen all at once. Think about it. It's not a good idea. Gradius 3 or Super R time. No, they don't, it always makes me wonder why they do why they do that. I mean, I guess they're just trying to keep it as close to the arcade as possible, but at what cost? Oh, 
bother, but it's nonsense. What is, what the hell? Oh! I'm literally, it's like three frames a second right now. I can't, like, it lags, like, it gets that laggy, you can't even pause the game. Like, the input doesn't go through. I tried to pause it then to say that, it didn't even pause. Oh my god, he's like, wait, what the hell? Did that even touch me? I need to review this on my phone. What the fuck was that? The hitbox on that was ridiculous. I mean, I, I wasn't clean of it, but I was, you know, definitely. No. Oh no, what a checkpoint. There's no power up. making such games on this platform figure it out maybe new platform this is like one of the later games though this is 1994 the Mega Drive is on its last legs at this point that beam is ridiculous I need to move in advance but that beam is ridiculous Like, pretty much all the Sonic games on the Mega Drive were finished by this point. It was, Mega Drive was over. Whoa! Like, where's your hitbox? Oh god, not those blue balls. I really need the options to do they're, they're awful. They just heat seek you and I'm scared to use a bomb in case it has got another form that I'll need it for. Oof. The end of 94. Well, this is 94. even outrun those flames what the fuck do you want me to do <laughs> i'm not, like moving and sometimes i can't tell if i'm if it's the frame rate or i'm slow i guess going backwards makes it slow i've got to go side to side i don't know because reverse is a slower speed than all other directions you know because that makes loads of sense that would be what it is i guess I'm scared to use my bombs though. I would love a shield. They're not like a secret.
stuff. Hang is gonna kill me. Ah! Oh. When you can't outrun stuff. Bad, but it doesn't even have a consistent speed. Forwards and side to side. Well, forwards and right are faster than left and down. do a lot about those balls sometimes once they're in a certain place I can't move fast enough and I can't get them in front of my line of shot Hell, that I'm trying to charge and shoot, but I have to keep shooting these stupid little balls. Backward obviously has to be slow. You got to wait to set for the backup beeper to what exactly? Back it up, back it up. Check your viewpoint. Whoa! Can they just despawn already? Can't shoot them actually yet. What do you want me to do? Oh my goodness. I can't go back on them. Oh, I've just got to keep going forward. Reverse is too slow. Oh, you can't. What the fuck? <laughs> the frame rate just suddenly jumped back and it turned sharply into me. Oh. It's like, oh, is that bit over? Hello, how are you? Down! I'm top wasted on my lives. I'm trying to get points off him. I'm worried about this game over.
Oh, tits. I was trying to shoot that ball on the left. Uh, with one shot. seconds up there. It is good. I've heard a lot of it before this far. But, oh my god, like, I'm literally moving. I can't go any faster than that. Why is the bullet faster than me? That's bullshit. But it's not always that fast. Damn it. Get off my ass. I like the boss music, me too. How are you dirty? It has been a hot minute. What the fuck do you want me to do? <laughs> Continue. Oh, thank God. I was really worried that it was going to boot me back to the start of the game. That's fine, then. As long as there's no threat of a big game over, then whatever. I'll just brute force it. Move faster. Me. They don't always consistently move faster, either, though. That's the annoying thing. But, like, it's really hard to shoot them and shoot the boss and get out of the way of his fucking beam, which is where I need to be shooting and charge up a shot, because I've discovered the regular shot is so weak, it's not worth bothering with, you need to do charge shots. The difference is huge. I mean, like, I've spent forever shooting there. He shoots him. Won't kill anything. Yeah, the music on this level is really good. Whoa! You'll get to hear it now. Makes the boss a lot harder. Makes the whole game hard. The isometric view actually wouldn't be so bad. It's just that the controls are very sluggish. You're better off, and like I've said, Going backwards is actually slower, but your brain is like, it goes against sh shooter logic. You want to move backwards to evade, but moving backwards is really slow. Moving forwards is much faster, and also moving to the right is faster, but moving to the, l and moving to the left is a little bit slow. It's weird, like, left and right seem to be one speed, and forwards and backwards are another, and it's just kind of bullshit. Reminds me of a bit of Marble Madness. Yeah, it's got that sort of graphics look about it. 
if back was as fast as the other directions, the game would be a lot more bearable, but I think... I'm just going to game over now, I think. Um, it took me a while to realise that, and I think that's why I was dying a lot in this. I mean, I'm still dying a lot now, but what was really killing me was trying to dodge backwards. Bye! Now, I'm trying to just focus on dodging side to side rather than forwards and backwards through these... For the, um, the pink bullets, anyway. It just holds your ground on the plane that you're on. Don't try and move backwards behind them. Because it won't work. You'll... They'll outrun you. What even touched me that? I didn't even see it. I think it has the first checkpoint without losing half my lives. I'd very much like this game to end this evening. Do you remember when we played nice games? <laughs> Being peeping in, this is an interest interesting approach to a smart. It's a choice. I'm sure it works better in the arcade because it would have a more consistent frame rate and I feel like it just would make more sense with an arcade stick. It just doesn't it doesn't translate to a D-pad very well. There's just too much going against this game. It feels like it's probably a good game that's um, in a very bad shape. Shouldn't really be on the Mega Drive, I don't think, unless you're going to do a better job of it. It doesn't perform well and it doesn't control well. The graphics are nice though and the music's good, but the gameplay's not. Sometimes it's sometimes it works okay, but the thing is, the difficulty is too much for its controls. If you want to ask this much of the player, you need to give them better controls, kind of thing, and more consistent frame rate. Like all this bullet nonsense, and I'm literally just struggling to chug through. I would be curious to play this at a stable frame rate. Ooh. And a lot of the time I just feel like I'm, I'm just groaning through like now. I'm groaning and I'm also like, please don't snap back to 30 frames because I know I'll die if it does. Whoops, see I can't even pause, you can't even pause the game, like, consistently. I was just like, pressing it twice, and I sort of scratched my face and it wasn't pausing. What a load of horse manual. The boss already. I remember. Yep. See, with the options, this shouldn't be as bad because I can use them as a shield on those blue blobs. But when I die, I don't have that anymore. Oh my god! That beam is much bigger than its graphical representation. Now I've lost the options. 
moving around the screen. Whoa! I mean, they could, they probably went with that, but I'm sure it's not intentional to do this shit. Even this boss is all over the place because it's firing a gajillion balls out. What, like, instead of doing three, I can't even pause the game. I can't even pause the game right now. Oh, there we go. I was literally just pressing pause 15 times before that went through. <laughs> but if they just did, like, maybe two balls instead of three, maybe the framework would improve a little bit. It's weird that the pause doesn't work though, because it's not like I can't shoot, I can shoot when I press it. That would be insufferable, but why you can't pause? even get a shot off while I'm dealing with these blue balls. Oh, that one's gonna fucking get me now. Oh. It came at an angle I couldn't shoot it. Also, like, because of the bad frame rate and the noise, I'm not even sure when my charge is fully charged because I can't hear it and I can't gauge by any time because it's going in slow motion at the moment. Miss the fuck up. I think you can swing it around. Ooh. What the hell? <laughs> I'm, I don't even believe it. I don't even believe that beam hit me. I don't believe that. <laughs> it said like fucking Narnia. You know what I'm really worried is, is that isn't the last boss. What if there's more? What if there's more? It means it's a very short level. 
not, I don't know why it would be the last boss. Especially after the huge slog that was level 5. Why would that be the final boss? I also can't believe how easy the end of boss for, for stage 5 was, or maybe I fluked it. All bosses in reverse shot up, don't even. Reverse order wouldn't be so bad, actually. Part flew into that to be fair. Checkpoint, please. Yeah. These blue balls go away. Oh my god! I'm like trying to move, but it's just not fast enough. I think you can only dodge forwards, but if you're already forwards, you can't go forwards, you know? You're like, whoa, have you tried going faster? Have you? I'd love to go faster. Crap. Oh, fucking hell.
Chrono Gear. Whoa! I can't even pause the game. Oh my god! Every time I'm on the last lap, I'm like, right, I'm gonna use my bombs, and then those little shitbags at the start kill me instead. There's a trend with games though, this is the same as like quite a few other games, they just, they get worse and worse and worse the longer they go on. Like, the first two levels of this I actually quite enjoyed and then it just jumped off a fucking cliff and just couldn't perform. It's, it's so hard to finish a game I guess. Well, the second level's a bit ass actually, really, but at least it runs okay. Has this one got retro achievements, Chrono Gear? Don't do it. He's shooting more, I think, because I've got the things. Ah, oh, fucking bugger. <sighs> but woo, but woo, nothing. It doesn't. Lucky. I think this has the luxury privilege of being the worst shooter on the Mega Drive that I've played so far. I think it's, I would say it's worse than Fire Mustang, even though. I feel like Fire Mustang is actually a worse game, but it just, at least it performs better. 
If this ran well, it would be a lot better than Fire Mustang, but it just doesn't. Then we jump back into 30 frames a second. Ooh. For a moment. Can you stop moving? Not expect this. What the fuck? <laughs> Just keeps going this game. What is this? My doom. <sighs> I probably need to save my bombs for that. I've got no bombs now. I'm assuming this is the final boss then. Is this the boss theme for every boss? Or is it no, it's everybody. Even the robot crab. Woo! Woo! Baby! Wow! Is the cause of the slowdown? Viewpoint ends tonight though, even if I'm staying up like five fucking hours, viewpoint ends tonight. Mark my words. <laughs> I'm not doing level five. I'm just, I'm not doing level five again. I don't ever want to do that stupid head boss. I don't want to do level four and I don't want to do level five ever again. Woo! I will leave the game on overnight. <laughs> If need be, and do it first thing in the morning. Just like we used to. Oh, get lost, blue balls. I will break the stream into two, actually. We've got unlimited continues. I have nothing to prove. I'm not doing level 5 again. I actually got away with it quite quickly tonight. I think it's because, I don't know. I was on a roll, but... Oh, I wish I had a bomb. I'm not going to be able to do this without a bomb anyway, but... Redeem's level 5 again. That Redeem will never exist. I would rather play Chaka. 
Oh. oh! Bloody outbreak coming up, and I'm like, oh my god, the final boss, really, bitch? Ooh, this music's gone places. Stop! Oh my fucking whoa! And then the frame rate just goes pow! What the fuck is this game all about? I'm like seeing all these balls appear, and I'm like, okay, get ready to dodge them at 15 frames per second. No, 30. Go, go, go! <laughs> this game is abysmal. With a bomb, though, that should be doable. Just not this continue. He's getting me. Oh, right, well, we'll do this out to get him out of the way then. I'll see you all soon. Baby, and then he went, Wow, tits. Be lovely if I could keep these options. We'll have a shield. There's not even like a single fucking shield in this level. I'd also love to remap the shoot button. My thumb really hurts. Whatever. Whatever. Whatever.
Oh my god! That beam is stupid! Gotta really be clear of it. Stop! Despawn, please! Oh my god. Fine. Whatever. <laughs> Don't be so seven. Swear to fuck. <laughs> Is that it? That bomb did something. <laughs> yeah, that was very, uh, well, gosh. Whoa! Sounded like Black Box right on time. At least we had the MJ Woo. Gotta get up, gotta get up, gotta get up. Game design <laughs> by nobody, apparently. Clearly. See, even the credits I can't fuck fit on the screen properly. Run. <laughs> I will. Moonwalker sound effect in there. No one wants to claim this. Coming right at the end. Oh, gee. Oh, my God. I've totally changed my opinion on this game, I'm afraid. I have slept something fierce. I really don't like this game anymore. Sizzler. I would, uh, I would bump this down to like, if it was on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd say it was uh, about 2 Splatterhouse 3's out of 10. Garbage. I think the first two levels are alright and then just, no, get out of here. It's awful. It just, it just doesn't have any performance. It, I can't, I can't justify this game at all. It's abysmally bad. It runs like ass. It controls like ass. It has great presentation and music, but so what, you know? So <laughs> if it plays like shit, it doesn't really help. It's a shame, though. I'm curious, though. I'm gonna dig out the Mega Drive Mini 2. before we play something else. I want to just see if it, how if it is different or not. It actually got worse. No, <laughs> quite sharply got worse after about stage three. Stage five is terrible because it's a boss corn, but it's really long and hard, and you have to do all the bosses again. And like, you, I mean, you must have just missed it, but like stage six, it is. It feels like the Mega Drive is about to just keel over and die. It is so painfully chug 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 chug. It's got no business being a video game. It's bad. That, you know, I'm not even too much of a stickler for frame rates, but it's like Super Ghouls and Ghosts trash, but worse. When the frame rate interferes with your 
ability to play the game. It's a problem. Sound effects by Nina. Graphics by nobody. And yeah, in like that cave games, they they were. But in this, it's just it's rubbish. It's inconsistency. It's all over the place. The frame rate just snaps in and out. What I am curious about though, before we quickly change over, MD likes 25% of the CPU to run the boss battles. Is that real? I would not be surprised. I'm curious how easy easy is though. I wonder if like if you play this on easy, it might be a bit more fun. One, two, three, bow! Is there a level skip? I can't be bothered. Maybe I'm not that curious. See, this level starts out well. It's got good vibes. The frame rate isn't too bad because they've calmed their tits with the enemies. But it just gets worse and worse and worse. Less stuff on the screen. I'm more thinking about health of stuff, bosses, but what we'll do is um, I'm going to dig out the Mega Drive Mini. Two for a moment and see if it compares because uh, I've heard that it runs better. I'm not sure if it does or not, but we'll find out. Um, I shall leave you with the sounds of this, which is a fucking jam. Best thing about this game is the music. 1994. I mean, you can do better in 94. Game is ported from the Neo Geo, running at 25% faster. This track was really good. I like the boss track too. This one was alright. That was mm, forgettable. I thought this one wasn't. Was this one alright? Yeah, this one was okay. This was terrible. I hate this level and this music. It's awful. Final level. Yeah, this was good music. Ship strike goes down by 25% in overall frame rates. Do love the original more. They did try though. Ah, uh, I can't. I can't do. I think. I mean, I don't know. Maybe you'll change your viewpoint when you get to the letter V. But for now, we'll have to disagree on this one. I think. I did agree at first, but mm -mm. I challenge you, like I said with Skitchenji, I challenge you, play through it again on normal, which is the default difficulty, all the way through and see, come back to me and let me know if you still think it's as, as good as you do. I mean, I, you know, I know that you don't think it's the best game ever, I know, but, and sometimes music can go a long way and nostalgia, but yeah. There's a good game. This is this is a bad port, is what I think about this one. I would be curious to play it on different hardware. But let's swap over and see if the Mega Drive Mini 2 is any better. Apparently the last thing we played was Party Quiz. I don't know why, but apparently we did. Just 
plug my controller in. That's a fancy star too, if ever I heard it. I can't believe Mega Panel's on this piece of crap. <laughs> really try the Neo Geo original. How is it 3Gs? See, I don't think it's even fit for that, to be honest. I think it needs bumping down to a 1 or a 2. Just because of purely performance, it's not even about the game, it's just, I, you can't justify it. Unless, I hope they fix this, you know, because if they haven't, I can't believe it's even on here. I, I, even as a curio, I don't think it's wor uh, worth bothering with, but let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, it feels a lot quieter. It's rather quiet. I can't really turn the audio up, I don't think either. Oh, it's very subdued, this version. Let's see. The sounds sound different. Oh, this is different. This is totally, yeah, this is totally different. This is what the game should have been. This is a better experience, but this isn't 1994, you know? The actual game is not good, <laughs> but this is much better. They really fixed the frame rate. I don't know why the audio is so quiet though. I'd actually give this a go again. It's, I'm not going to do it tonight, so I can't be asked, but I'd give this a go for fun. It's actually a little bit, this level's a little bit harder because you kind of need the. Woo! You need to slow down. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Missed the slowdown now. Oh, this is so different. Whoa, look at that. This is overclocked to high hell. Oh, there's a sneaky little bit of slowdown there, but not much. Two audio modes. Yeah, I was just thinking that. I was wondering about changing the other one. Because, can you hear that ka-ching? Ka -ching? That wasn't on the one that I was playing. Obviously, I wasn't playing like an original game hardware, etc, etc. So, maybe what I was playing before wasn't accurate. But I mean, just to, just to confirm, you have a cart of this one, right? You've played it on a Mega Drive, and it does have really shit frame rate, right? This is so much better. Still got all the weird flicker, though. Yeah, it does on OG Hardware. This feels like a much better game though, now. M2 are crazy though, because I mean, they haven't changed anything really, have they, essentially. I'm pretty sure, would you be able to... I wonder if you would be able to rip this, put it on a car and play it on an actual Mega Drive, or if it's very unique to the Mega Drive Mini 2. I wonder if they reprogrammed it, or if they're just boosting its power or something. Someone's already ripped it. <gasps> Whoa! Stage one clear. Be 
Yeah, that's much better. How do we change the audio things on this again? Settings. Oops, press X. What was I using? I like to use Type 1. Which do you prefer? I always go with 1, I think. Even though it sounds clearer. And if it does sound different. Do, 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 do. Mostly just interested in that odd shot sound that sounded different. No, it sounds the same. If you go with two, it sounds clearer. Are you just for the mini or in general in life? Right, let's uh, let's call this done. Viewpoint game 145. Um, one, two, three.